Hi, this is Shadi. Today I will be dubbing Masahiko Kimura's interviews done by the NHK. One regarding his old championships and the other one was about his fight with Ricky Dozan. So before I get to it, I need to explain to you a few things because YouTube is not my only means of income. So one of the things I do is subtitle Japanese movies and there's a lot that goes in. It's not about translating word for word it's really about getting the point across so it's it can be very arbitrary it can be sometimes intuitive so when you are reading subtitles of movies and trying to learn a language please be careful because uh, a lot of the times other words are used to get the point across because of cultural differences and things that can be said that are completely off uh, what the original language is. Uh, another thing that is really interesting is little cultural hints thrown in and that can be weird or completely alien to us people from a different culture. So at one point he talks about turning his butt uh, or his backside to the emperor and uh, it came out of nowhere and I found it very weird. So after a little bit of research and asking around uh, I found out that you are not allowed to turn away from the emperor or turn your back when in the presence of the emperor you only bow down when you address them and you address them I think when you are permitted I'm, I don't know the whole etiquette but uh, surely you don't turn your back to them and uh, obviously when you're fighting it's gonna happen um, and also when he was fighting Ricky Dozan you see that they were wearing very tight trunks so if his backside was exposed there you go that that explains it so i thought it was a funny moment uh, during the interview it came out of nowhere so without further ado let's go at the time the other was training for three hours so if i trained for six that would be enough I thought I would win the championship, but my opponent wanted to beat me, so instead of three hours, I trained for six. It was for five minutes, so even if you do win, you can still be lucky, so I had to triple down to make sure I get it. So as a result of this training, I was able to win consecutive championships. This is a good thing to do because the emperor is a god and having a match in front of him must be great. I turn my backside to the emperor. Yes, because there are various movements and when doing judo you can turn your backside. During the fight I looked and I could see the emperor and his eye went like this. Ujijima sensei looked at me and said, did you see that? It was quite the show between you and Ricky. Yes, at first I didn't really care who would be the winner, but Ricky said no and in this case we should have like a draw. Then we had rock, paper, scissors and the winner would win the first round and the loser can come back and win the second and so on. That way it would be a series of matches and the country of Japan would be excited for it. And then he said it would make a lot of money and he was sure of it. These are for the stories of Ricky himself. Yes, we met and decided on it. The fight starts, the bell rings. What happened? Well, when things went down, my leg popped and touched his knee. So it touched his lower part, yes. I meant to kick because I wanted to show the audience a proper performance. He jumps and does a good job. Immediately after, he raises his hand like this and me in this position, I prepare myself to strike back, but he hit the carotid artery and it was a legitimate strike to the carotid artery. I felt lightheaded and collapsed.